superpowers. We all wish we had them at one point in our lives. Whether that was attempting to do the Kamehameha, or whatever BS those Naruto hand signs were. At one point, we all try to imagine our physical selves with nostalgic power-ups. And after catching up to One Piece, and noticing the ever so variant power-ups within One Piece power system, Devil Fruits, I too imagine what it would be like if I had a few Devil Fruits in my inventory. So what better way than to make a top 5 Devil Fruits to use in real life video? If you guys like this content and want to see more, why not hit that like button and sub up so to on the road to 1k. And without a further ado, let's dive in. Oh and uh, before we do this, no I'm not bringing any overpowered devil fruits like smoke fruit, lava fruit, or gas fruit. I'm literally a civilian, not a hall of fame menace. Also only cannon fruits, so no gold fruit either, let's cheat it. Alright, I'll show you. But if things get out of hand, we'll aim for Bigfoot. <laughs> it's a parade inside my city! Now for our number one, I gotta go with the gum gum fruit, aka the rubber fruit. I mean, who, come on, who wouldn't want this power? I could understand that first. It would be hard to control it, since practically all of Luffy's adolescence and childhood was spent on learning it. But after I get the hang of it, it's literally raps. <laughs> to start off, I could easily swing my arms through buildings like I'm Spider-Man which was something practically every single human dreamed of and physical damage wouldn't be able to hurt you either since you know i'm rubber in any contact sport like basketball or american football you would be a beast since anytime you'll get shoved or knocked over you could easily use that momentum to send them flying into the stratosphere also the ladies would dig it however i do want to avoid using this power in the uk though since i'm at a type disadvantage there For number four, I got the Hana Hana no Mi, aka the hand fruit. Now, I'm not gonna hold y'all, this fruit is extremely overpowered. And I know I'll say that for every single fruit on this list, but this fruit in particular is different. Not only could you snap your ops neck just by looking at them and doing this weird pose, but you can also grow, you guessed it, multiple hands. My four piece combo about it go crazy. I don't know about y'all, but this power would be extremely helpful for a multitude of reasons. Number one, any stressful or physical activity will just be an ease. Especially if you're doing anything with computer slash YouTube videos. Because typing these video essays and editing these videos would be extremely grueling. But not if you had Surfshark. I'm just kidding. I don't, <laughs> I'm not sponsored, but oh boy, that would have been a perfect way to start one. Hit me up. Anyway, not only can you multitask with these multiple hands, but you can also create shadow clones. Wait, shadow clones? I'ma be honest, Oda, you, you lost me on how the hands fruit can lead to shadow clones, but you do you. The one drawback is the fact that I have to put my hands in this position and scream, Red fools! Which would be low-key annoying in a workspace environment, and I could low-key be fired if I have to spam that at work. So that's why I'll place it at number four. <laughs> All right, we are at the top three. And to start off, I got the string string fruit used by Don Quixote do Flamingo. And I mean, come on, why wouldn't you want this fruit? Of course, thanks to do Flamingo's immaculate intellect, he was able to turn a fodder fruit into a completely dangerous one, an extreme danger to both regular civilians and the world government. However, there are a lot of uses for this specific string in real life. Since Doflamingo's strings are so strong and thick, it was able to destroy buildings, not even to mention a whole country. Meaning that if I sold this string to billion dollar companies, I'd be a billion dollar company. Imagine a regular string, but it's as durable as a building. Undercover cops are gonna be overpowered as hell. You already know Yeet's gonna be my number one investor. But the best thing about the string fruit is literally the transportation. Like, I'm literally Spider-Man. Who wouldn't wanna be like him? Unlike the gum gum fruit, you already know I'm gonna be hitting those Spider-Man edits mid-swing before heading to the Spider Society. No. I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm allowed that. The only downside to this fruit would be the fact that to make any string as durable as Doflamingo's, I would just have to train as hard as him. And uh, 
Seeing what Doflamingo's done. Yeah, I don't think I'll reach his level of proficiency anytime soon. I'm at the now for the number two, I got the door door no me, aka the door fruit. And I'm telling y'all right now, this is a W investment. Practically anywhere you go, it doesn't matter if you're rich, homeless, a hero, Spider-Man, no uncle, probably no father at the spot doesn't, there will be doors to access. And with these doors, not only can you charge people a crap ton of money, not only just for one ride, but you can also pull the craziest heist and don't have to worry about security. It's actually an infinite money glitch with extreme minimal effort. Just put your palm in the air and you got yourself a portal in the frame of a door. And the transportation, oh my god, you will never see me drive a car again. The only reason why it isn't number one is because it's lack of offensive qualities. Like what am I supposed to do if I get mugged and then they tell me transport into the middle of Ohio? I don't got a strap on me. I'm a civilian. a civilian. And that's why for the number one fruit I suggest in real life is the slip slip fruit is what I'd say if I was a freak. Damn. But the actual number one would be the Gora Gora no Mi, aka the lightning fruit. Pretty sure to most of y'all, this pick would be a no brainer, but to go in depth, for the average working class person, this fruit is busted. Imagine having the powers to zip zap across somewhere like New York City to work every day, no sweat, but also restarting car engines or refueling Tesla batteries on your way. That's practically an eight figure salary. Not only that, but if you see the environment where Skypea is, you could see that it's practically empty with bare bones technology. Now just imagine Eno generating electricity from a place like Egghead Island. He's practically a walking nuke just waiting to happen. And that's why when I get this fruit, my professor better not get on my bad side. He won't like me when I'm angry. Oh, scary. Oh, 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 shiver my timbers. Shut up, man. Also, you could restart your heart. So in sports, I'm practically both a speed and stamina demon. And uh, just writing this, I can hear the 6 million trade offers coming my way. But sadly, not all things in life we want, we can get. But what you can get is a heart on your comment of your top five devil fruits that you want to use in real life. Because like, seriously, I'm really interested to see what devil fruits y'all pick and the reasons why. While you're doing that, why not subscribe to the channel? You made it this far in the vid. Oh yeah, and uh, hit that like too. That helps both me and you, so you can see more peak content like this. Make sure to follow me on my Twitter. I'll be chatting there too. Tack this back, and I'll see you guys next time.